and we're off. Sales are up, engines off, and we've got about 11 hours ahead of us. We're making the jump from Eleuthera to the Berries today, and it's kind of sad because I feel like the fun's over in the Bahamas because the next few days from now when we make it to Florida. It's just travel days. So it's kind of sad. I thought we were going to be here a lot longer than we were, but we did everything we wanted to do that made sense for our route. So here we are on our way back to the good old U.S. today. And I feel like I'm ready to, to move on. So it's a bit bitter, bittersweet, I suppose. been really into these oatmeal bakes and they're really easy to make so we're gonna have this for breakfast it's calm enough to throw it all together before popping it in the oven Ooh, Time to jive now? What? Is it time to jive? Yeah, but I kind of want to try something. What? I'm going to see if I can pull the tack line off. Because we wanted to get that quick clip. Because if I can just yank it, it'll fly out and then I can easily douse it without like fighting it. And then it's doused and then I can just deal with it. Way too much tension on that. You need that quick clip. Yeah. Not that. Well, feeling up for it. You're a nice silhouette in this sunset here. That's crazy to see on just one of these islands, eh? We're just coming into sunset, having a little snack before dinner. And we decided because the sail has been so comfortable today, like we left at seven in the morning and it's, I don't know what time it is. The phone's always dead. Okay, so we've been sailing for almost 12 hours now and it was supposed to be a 10 hour day, but we decided to keep going. We're gonna go straight to Bimini which means we'll have one less stop before we make it back to Florida because originally we were going to do a couple of hops and stop for tonight, but we're just going to keep going. And then once we get to Bimini, we'll rest for a little bit, wait for weather, and then we'll head over to Florida from there. The sail's been comfortable. Um, the winds are going to carry us through the night and it hasn't really been all that eventful. We had a small barracuda on the line that was pretty much dead by the time we reeled it up. He gave so, himself a haircut too. Yeah. I gave myself a haircut. It's not a different day. <laughs> it was that decent of a sail. It's quite comfortable. And now we're going to be going over, I think it's called the Great Bahama Bank. It's a bank from Bimini to the Berries. It's really shallow. So hopefully the sea state's going to even 
hunker down even more and it should be even more of a comfortable sail tonight. If you're wondering how he cuts his hair, by the way, we couldn't film it because he does it <laughs> downstairs in the bathroom in our tub and he sits there naked and just buzzes away. <laughs> yeah, it's easy just to like shot back and then rinse off and then I'm done with it. I used to cut it off the transom and it was good, but I'd always get like glared with the sun that I couldn't see out of the mirror or like, it just would never. Well, plus we had the dinghy up today. Well, today, yeah, I couldn't do it. And then if we're doing it when we're sailing, then the wind picks all the hair up and it's like everywhere. So I just started doing it in the bathroom and it works quite well. Travis is all ready for bed. Yep. It's all right. I know. First tea. I'll go watch, I'll go on the first sleep. So then when I wake up, we'll be over the shallow bank. It's dark. That'll be my spot in that corner for the next few hours. Go get cozy. It's a little chilly. Yeah, do you want something? I'll just take a towel. Well, we made it through the night, obviously, but it was pretty comfortable night. As you can see, the conditions were kind of similar to that, so very comfortable. It's always a bit weird when we leave and we don't plan to do a 24-hour sail, and it just ends up being a 24-hour sail. Kind of like throws you off a bit because you're not mentally prepared, and I don't know, and maybe you didn't get enough sleep the night before, or whatever. It's just like... It's not bad, but it's just a bit weird sometimes. So, 6.30 in the morning now, and I'm gonna go brush this cat shit out of my mouth and find some breakfast and a coffee. We're anchored down in Bimini, which looks really fancy. We didn't uh, come up to this side Last time we were here, we were over down south in Alicetown, and this side here obviously is where all the cruise ships and the resorts are, so you can hear it, the music's pumping. Nap time. Breakfast is done. It's time for a nap. Yep. Ah, good morning. It's just past six in the morning. And we are about to leave Bimini and we're gonna head to Fort Lauderdale. Crazy, heading to the US. Heading this way from the Bahamas to Florida, I think is a little bit better by means of going across the Gulf Stream because usually there's more southerly winds that are in your favor. And then you also have the current that heads north. So you're not having to beat against the current and you're not having to beat against the wind when you likely come to the Bahamas. So it's kind of like you're going with it all. So should be good. We picked a nice light day. It's gonna be 10 to 12 knots throughout the day. Should be a little bit more in the afternoon. But I think the main thing to consider when leaving the Bahamas is how to plan your inlet time. So when you gotta go through an inlet in Florida, you don't wanna be going in on an outgoing tide you want to catch it on an ingoing tide so it'll just blast you on in and, and you won't have a really slow and comfortable inlet passage so it's about a 10 hour sail i think i added i've calculated it so we should be getting there just when the current is switching unless the gulf stream really flies us up there then we'll be there too soon you could always leave a little bit later, but I also don't want to get there too late where then we're trying to find somewhere to anchor in the dark. So it's kind of a, got to find the balance with that. So hopefully we planned it right. And yeah, so looks like we're going to be able to fly the spinnaker today. So 
pretty excited about that. And let's get going. I'm just going to pick up anchor and then we're going to raise the spinnaker and then set off and turn off the engine. This is how, what would it be called? Narthotic? What? It would be called narthotic. I am. <laughs> I don't know, I make up words. So I walk on the decks, which get a little bit of salt from just the dewy air. And I don't like that coming into the cockpit. Otherwise my feet are gonna feel gross. I... Nathartic, is it cathartic or is cathartic it just- Cathartic and the... we'll Google that one. I'm not good with words. Anal. <laughs> Anal. We've got about 10 or 11 hours of sailing ahead of us, and hopefully it's smooth and we meet the current. Well, we just hit the depths where our depth sounder can no longer read, which is deeper than 600 feet. So you know what that means. Time to put out the rock. Wind's light enough that we can pack this away really nicely. That's so tightly wound, it looks so small. Should be loose. We're a few hours out. It's lunchtime, so I'm gonna be making pizza today. outside and noticed that it kind of smelled like gasoline over here and we thought that maybe because we were getting pretty close to Florida I don't know that maybe there was a lot of stuff in the water or I don't even know and then Stephanie realized yeah, bloodhound. yeah that it was our dinghy because we were like what has gasoline so obviously like our dinghy does and I saw it was shiny on the plastic there and there's gasoline in the rim of our dinghy now, like in the seam. So this thing has been busting for a while. Yeah, we lost like a top layer, and then we we got a new can in St. Martin, but it was still working, so I didn't want to replace it, but now it's totally leaking, so it's no longer good. 
At least we have the new one, though. Yeah, at least we got the replacement for it. And it's full. Yeah. But that's just a smelly, messy job that awaits you at anchor. Yep. Welcome to boat life. <laughs> we can see Florida, though. Look at all the high rises. In the distance there, you can kind of see them. We are going so slow. It'll be wow. forever till we get there. But it's comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Like super calm, so no complaints here. And it's not going to be nighttime for a while, so we're, yeah. we're good. As long as we can get there before nightfall, yeah. But yeah, it's a slow <laughs> passage. We are aiming so far south, like past Miami, and we are just making our heading. The slower we go, the further south we have to point because of the Gulf Stream. So our angle is like so far off from like where we're heading to where we're going. I know you always complain. I don't know how to cook. But I already can, filmed I me can doing cook it. A mean pizza, guys. I already filmed the before. I thought that his dinghy was another boat following. Uh, big open exposed coastlines are my least favorite coastline. They're just all inlets and I don't like inlets. Why can't I just pull up and head to a big open anchorage? <laughs> we were, that was the problem. Let's turn around. Yeah. are back in the States. Quite some time since I've been to the States. So, holy crap. Look at these mansions. We're so close to shore. I think this is the closest we've ever been. We have to go through two bridges before our anchorage. So this first one here opens on the hour and every half hour. So we're a little bit early. We have about 15 minutes. And then the next one after that opens on the 15 and 45. So we're just gonna have to do a little bit of a wait here. Let the bridge dance start. We got 15 minutes, so actually 10 now. Um, it's okay if the current's against you in the wind because you can kind of just put it in gear and face the other way and just kind of hold still. And when you're the only boat, it's, it's okay. But when you got a bunch of other sailboats waiting and you got winds and currents, everyone's doing all sorts of things. So, uh, that can get hectic. Yeah, it just gets hectic feeling. I always try to stay like far back. kind of did our calculations for what speed we need to go to be able to make it to the next bridge with the least amount of bridge dance time. We're going to miss the first opening, but the next opening after that isn't for another half hour, which means we need to put along at like less than two knots to be able to make it there just in time comfortably. Uh, so yeah, we're not going very fast at all. We're back at the anchorage that we were staging at before we left for the Bahamas the first time around three years ago. A little bit of familiar territory. 